It's time for another tale from the glass-guarded world. Ashley plays Terra Dane, the human fighter. Josh is Zartok, the tiefling wizard, and Gaston, the rogue and bard. Jessica is Coral Petrichor, the Genasi druid, and Mama Sass, the half-orc bard and barbarian. Chris plays Aster Fortuna, the half-drow rogue and bard extraordinaire. Being a hero is difficult work, friends. Sometimes it requires us to do foolhardy things, facing impossible odds. Our captain, Terra Dane, has courageously confronted the slaver captain, calling himself King Dapper. But in addition to the slaver captain, she's also facing his crew, including their ship wizard. And to make matters worse, now the spelljammer hovering overhead is firing a ballista at her. But Corellan's needle is on the way to help. Can they make it in time to save Terra? Let's rejoin the combat in progress. This spelljammer overhead rotates the stern of the ship around toward you, and a light ballista sends a bolt flying toward you, and it impacts the ground behind you, missing. But now you've got these pirates surrounding you in Braille, and a ballista, a piece of artillery overhead, firing at you. But it's your turn. This is swell. <laughs> <laughs> this is what heroes do. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. I, I think your crew wants to kill you too, King Dapper. <laughs> they would regret drawing. My first hit is a... Oh, sorry. I got to tell you who I'm going to hit. Um, yes. Uh, first, I'm going to try and hit the injured deal with guy. the one that's already injured. Yes. Perfect. 28. That's a hit. That's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a hit. What a hit. 10 damage. 10 damage. He does not go down. Okay, my second roll was a natural 20. Oh, oh no. You better roll your damage. Oh, because it'll because move on. Because a lot of it's going to apply to the next person. <laughs> well, of course, as, as usual, when I roll damage, one of them is a 1, and the other uh, one is a 6, so 7 plus 8, 15 damage. 15. All right, so... This person that you've been targeting, the one just north of the captain, goes down, and 13 points of damage apply to the next guy. Oof, the guy oof, to your left, or the west. Okay. So Tara cuts down another pirate, then swings around and hits the one standing behind her. Looking amazing. Do you have another attack as well? Yeah, um, the next one is a 30. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> 17 plus 13. Oh, nice. you're such an action hero right now, Ter. <laughs> and it is uh, 14 damage. Oh my gosh. You cut down another pirate and inflict one point of damage to the next one. Wait, there's not many left, right? There's like one there's left? two left. Two? And a captain. You cut through this person on your follow through. You just cut him straight down and cut into the next pirate who looks shocked. Okay, that's the end of Tara's turn. Braille is going to try to... You know what? No, she knows that she's not really doing great here. She's going to give you the help action again. She's going to step next to you and give you the help action on your next attack. Okay. Now the captain gets to go. Captain says, I can always hire more crew. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad leadership. We have a miss. We have a 22... And a miss. Okay. So let's do this one hit. I'm rolling so badly. Only 11 points of damage. Okay. I would like to repost his uh, last hit, though. Okay. I I'm not there, but how's Tara looking? Um, I mean, given the amount of enemies around her. Not she bad. She's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I know. You, <laughs> she I looks picture really, it in my mind. Really tough right now. <laughs> okay. And then have advantage, too. I get the advantage on it, yeah. So this is a great That's time right. to use yeah, it because yeah, yeah. I get to add superiority die to the damage. Oh my god! 
So it was an 18 plus 13, whatever it's going to hit, I assume. That hits. <laughs> yeah. Um, then I've got a, it's a D10, so a D8 and a D10. Are you freaking kidding me with these ones? Oh. <laughs> okay, a uh, total of 16 damage on him. Okay. He's still pretty good. Really? Uh, his, it's still his turn. He's going to action surge. Oh. No. He says, let's try that again. That's better. No. A 25, eh, 13, and a 26. Uh, okay, yeah, those two hits. All right, the first one, 12 points of damage and 15 points of damage. Ouch. 12 for the first, 15 for the second. He seems unnaturally strong. Yeah, yeah, he did take that potion. Also, when you hit him, how much damage did you did you do again? You did 16 15? points of damage? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you notice that not all of that seemed to go through. He seems somewhat resistant to the damage you're inflicting. He doesn't seem to be raging. Something else seems to be going on. Okay. The wizard is going to try another ray of frost on you. Nope, it misses. Sails over your head. You duck out of the way again. This pirate is hammering you with his sword. He doesn't even really seem to be using any finesse. He's just slamming it down on you with brute strength. Unnatural strength. Does the acid just dissipate now? Yeah, the acid is dissipated. That pirate is still alive, so this pirate's going to try to attack you. And miss twice. Two 16s to hit. <laughs> That's good. That's and good. the next pirate... Oh, uh, 24 to hit. We have a hit. Although it's nowhere near as impressive as the other hit. The, as the hits you've been taking from the um, captain. Okay. Three points of damage. <laughs> nice. This pirate's dead, this pirate's dead, this pirate's dead, and this pirate is dead. <laughs> and it's back to Terra. Your ship will arrive in three rounds. Am I keeping track of that correctly, Josh? Yep, you're good. Okay, thank you. She doesn't need three rounds. Terra... It's your turn. The first thing I would like to do is use second wind to regain some HP. Yep. All right. Rolled a four, but it's four plus 13, so 17 hit okay. points. Nice. Okay, that's great. That's like one hit from that guy. <laughs> so, um, okay, yeah, Tara is going to, um, I, I think this time she's going to attack. Well, I don't know, hold on. You got two underlings and the captain left, and then you can see a wizard leaning around a corner casting spells at you. I, I guess it's still good to go for the underlings. Although the captain is pretty strong, it's less effective. Uh, I'm going to go for the one to the south. Okay, so Terra lines up a swing at another pirate or slaver. Uh, finally, a bad roll. Um, this one is uh, 15. That's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. No, it's not. No, it just clinks off the armor. It's not a hit. I'm sorry. Bummer. This slaver is wearing chain mail. Okay. The next one's 28. <laughs> that, however, is <laughs> definitely a hit. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. That's 10 damage. 10 damage. Okay. The war pick goes in, makes a hole in the chain mail, and the guy looks down, <laughs> and he's surprised he's still alive, and then the next attack just goes right through the hole in the chain mail. <laughs> 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 however, he's not down. Uh, the next hit is... Uh, it's 18 plus 13. That's some that, kind of math. That's a, another hit. And it is uh, 12 damage. Okay. So you slam your war pick into this pirate. He is still conscious and fighting, but uh, he is badly injured. You've pummeled him with this war pick. Uh, he's looking around a little nervously. That's great. I would like to action surge. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. This is the time. You know, and just like, I could do that too. <laughs> Um, rolling again. Anything you can do, I, I can, can do. do better. Oh my goodness. Okay, these are all terrible though. Like this is, <laughs> I got all three bad rolls. Okay, the first one is that same two, so it's a total 15. That is a miss. The second one is a three, so it's a total 16. That's a hit. Yeah. yeah. He smiles at you as you glance off his armor again and then stop smiling when your war pick jams into him, what's the damage? It is uh, 11. Yes. Okay. He goes down. And you swing around with the war pick, slamming his corpse into the guy next to him. <laughs> and the ne guy next to him takes seven points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, man. All what right. And that last roll is uh, an unnatural 20. Okay. That is a hit. It is uh, 16 damage. Oh, wow. 
Wow, okay. He is almost down as well. So you slam the corpse of his friend into him, and your war pick pierces into this additional pirate as well, and he is in rough shape. Captain still looks pretty healthy, though. Yes. All right. Braille goes next. Braille is going to step next to this pirate that you've just struck. You can do it. And she's going to try to hit him. Hey, she hit him. Yeah. Just barely with her spear. I love spear fighting. Wow. Okay. Pretty good. Is it enough? Yes, it is. She takes him down. Yeah. Sweet. There you go. Braille takes down that pirate, and you both turn around to face the captain. All right. The captain. Uh, let's see. He's going to focus on Terra, who is clearly the more important threat. The three attacks on Terra, swinging wildly with this long sword. He's just almost using it like a hammer. We have a 24, a 14, and an 18. So just one hit. Okay. And that's only 12 points of damage. All right. The wizard. Wizard's getting a little worried. So the wizard's going to cast a spell. You need to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. It's a 10-foot area. Okay. So it's going to affect both you and Braille. Braille saved. A 20. You also saved. Nice. So for a moment, everything around you looks strange. Like you're not sure, who are these people? What am I doing? But you shake it off. Mm, Weird. Two rounds left. The ship takes a shot at Terra with the ballista, and the ballista misses. Thank goodness. The ballista bolt slams into one of the corpses next to you, sending gore splattering Ooh. everywhere. Uh, what's our firing range with our ballista? Like, can I, um, can Mama Sass see the other ship? Yeah, I'm gonna say if you guys want it? to, you could engage in spell jammer combat with the other ship now. I'm gonna assume you're at long range if you want to do that. Should we do that? I mean, I am think if Mama Sass can see it and it's firing down into the village, she's absolutely going to do that. Okay. I have a question about, um, I mean, there's gnomes. I expect them to be still frozen, but what about all the other people? What are they doing? They are chained together. Okay. And they look like they're not sure where to go. There's some information that you don't know, but I'm going to tell the folks on Corellin's Needle that as you're approaching, you see that there's a spell jammer in the sky hovering above this village square. But you see that there's another one parked on the ground to the north of the village. Oh, okay. A long, dart-like spell jammer. It looks like just a big, pointy dart. Mm. It's painted red, bright red, and it's parked over there. And that was the direction that they were all being led, that the captives were being led. Terra's turn again. Oh, well, I guess we can do spell jammer combat. Let's go ahead and start spell jammer combat. With Spelljammer combat, does the ship have to turn? Is it a thing where it's going to slow down the turn rotation for us to get into? Uh, I will assume that if Zartok wants to get closer, he's going to use close the distance. Okay. Go ahead, Zartok, and roll your helmsperson maneuver check. I guess to roll initiative to get into combat with this ship. Unless you don't want to. Yeah. I mean, you're the one who's in charge, so if you don't want Mama's ass taking shots, you can make it so she can't. Oh, I... It makes perfect sense to me. Um, I don't. Uh, sorry, I, I wasn't expecting for this to happen. Um, I've got to look up what because I have a built-in Arcana bonus here that's yeah, too high, so and I have to take someone off, and I can't remember what the bonus is. So I'm trying to look. You're that a twelfth level spellcaster, right? Mm-hmm. So your ship's rating is now six. Add your intelligence bonus, your proficiency bonus, and your ship's rating. So you have what twenty intelligence? Oh, I wish he was that smart. Okay, 18. He's got 16. 16, so plus three. three. And then your proficiency bonus is what, plus four? Plus four. And then your ship's rating is six. The three, four, and six. Okay. 13, right? And then then we add Arcana too, right? Uh, Actually, the way it's written, we may have been doing this wrong, is you add your proficiency bonus if you're proficient in Arcana. Okay, gotcha. Perfect. They're rolling... They got a total of 16. We are at 18. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's not that high. It's 15. 15. Oh, okay. They choose to make you go first. All right. We're closing the distance. 
Uh, they are going to hold steady. So let me see if they can roll to succeed at that. Uh, no, they failed. So their gunners won't have advantage. You're closing the distance. They're not trying to oppose you, so unless you screw this up, you're going to get closer. So go ahead and roll. The DC is 17 for a maneuver check. That is a... Uh, uh, that's a fail. That's a oh dear. 14. All right, so Zartok's having trouble. He's still a little sleepy. He's having a little trouble getting the ship <laughs> to go where he wants it to go. And as a result, you're still at long range. Which is uh, disadvantage on Disadvantage attacks. on shots, that's right. Yep. Yeah. And uh, they're going to have disadvantage on firing at you as well. That brings us to the crew phase. Aster, are you the bosun? Yes. What are you doing? I need a... I'm sorry. I should have been looking up the PDF. I gotta get the rules up with too. It's been yeah. a while. It's been a yeah, while. yeah, it has been a while. I could make some suggestions if you want. Yeah, please. If you have it up, that'd make me faster. You could brace for impact if you're thinking they might hit you, okay. and that would reduce the damage from a hit. Okay, I will brace for impact. Okay. Also, I assume our crew members will will be supporting the, the, the weapon. Yeah, you've got Anzna and Garlos helping reload the weapon and you've got uh, Mama Sass firing the weapon, and you've got Papa Gaston, and I guess Lumpen helping out with uh, the rigging and that kind of stuff. Gotcha. I don't know if you want Lumpen to help or not. So that is a DC-19 survival check. Hey, weird that I'm the <laughs> the post survival check. Oh, wait, actually, yeah. it's not bad. That is a 15 plus four. That's 19. 19. You did it. All right. So what that means is the first attack that hits your spell jammer in this round will only do half damage. Nice. You're ready to make your ship dodge out of the way or to help your ship dodge out of the way. There's no captain at the moment. We don't need to worry about that. The captain's on the ground. And now we're on to the gunnery phase. So Mama Sass, uh, get ready to fire that ballista. Remember, it's a plus one ballista. They're going to fire at you with a heavy trebuchet. Not with disadvantage. Uh, it's a 10 to hit. They, they got only got an 11 to hit. So a giant boulder goes flying past your ship, and then they shoot at you with a heavy ballista. And again, a 12 to hit. It sails past your ship. They're saving the light ballista for shooting at Terra. And that is the gunnery phase. And now we're back to, um, actually, I guess, really, we should have, on the crew phase, we should have had Tara take her turn on the ground. Tara, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, well, it's she's face-to-face -face with the captain, so she's right. just going to attack the captain now. Did she, did she see us firing, so at least she knows she's not alone? Yeah, you see the ship above you rotate and start firing in, 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 to the east, which makes you think that, Maybe there's something going on. Now, does this does this stop the two turns for us to get within range of combat? Uh, well, yeah, it's you are within range. You're just not within range of picking up Terra. Okay. The ship's so, in range. The people aren't in range. That's right. So I could take off with Silphony if I had to. If you had to, if yeah. Had to. You might want to wait until the ship gets closer. Yeah, yeah, I will. So, Tara, you've got the captain, and then you've got Braille next to you. What do you want to do? Okay, um, I think the first attack is going to be, well, I don't know. It's 16. That is a hit. Oh, okay. That's nice. Oh, nice. All right, that's 11 damage to him. Okay, 11 damage. Not all that seems to go through. Yeah, let's see. So, I got, I'm got. i looking at my superiority options. A lot of them strength-based, so that's rough, because, you know, uh, he's... He seems super strong right now. Yeah, let's see. He don't still had the damage, right? From the thing. Don't think making him frightened is very... Well, yeah, I'll make him frightened. That, I'll try. I'm going to try to do a, um, a menacing attack with the next okay. one. So he needs to make a wisdom saving throw where the DC is 18, and if he fails, he's frightened of me until the end of my next turn. I'm a 23 to hit. Well, 16. He failed. Okay. So and 23 to hit. It's yeah. a hit. Yeah. Oh my gosh! So stupid. Both of my die rolls were uh, ones, so that is 10 Ugh. damage. But at least he's frightened. 10 damage. Yeah. 
It's still painful. Yes, it is. And then the other, um, the last hit is a 25. That's a hit. And that is 15 damage. Oof. All right. That's great. So he has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while I'm in line of sight. That's right. Yep. Okay. That's nice. Braille is going to try to attack him. Go, Braille. Go, Braille. Uh, but she misses. He bats her spear aside. Remind me, I don't recall, uh, because I'm rarely in actual physical combat. Uh, do we have, uh, flanking rules in this game? No. Okay, I couldn't remember. Thank you. So the captain says, are you some kind of she-witch? I guess all witches are (laughs) she-witches. Are you some kind of witch? (laughs) And he attacks you with disadvantage. Uh, a 12. It's getting philosophical now. 16. <laughs> oh, okay. That would have been a natural 20, but instead it's only a 27. But a 27 definitely hits. 16 points of damage. Oof. Oh, I'm not afraid of you, uh, uh, witch. <laughs> Slams a sword into you and takes a big step back. <laughs> so the wizard is going to go next. What can the wizard do? The wizard runs forward behind the captain but stops there that's the most movement the wizard can move that's 60 feet and prepares to cast a spell all the other slavers are dead the ones in the ground and that's the end of the crew phase which should have gone during the crew phase uh during spelljammer combat now we're back to the beginning of spelljammer combat with a new initiative check well what did did the wizard do anything the wizard dashed okay and then um can we see the the fight now that we're there could you pop it up on Foundry or not yet? Oh, you guys just don't have tokens on there. It's already yeah, on there, you guys but don't you just to- don't have tokens. on the map so you can't see it. I'm a, I'll put, drop some tokens on the map so you can see what's going on. You don't have to if we're not. But we but can't. you're not actually able to see the details yet. We still got a round, right? Zartok failed to get closer last round. Oh, but oh. I'll put tokens on the map anyway. Did he fail okay. to get closer or did he fail to... Like, like he certainly, he moved forward, but did they stop him from moving forward somehow? Or did they just keep the same distance? They just kept the same distance. The the, the the range stayed the same. The ground didn't move. He failed his move forward roll. Yeah, he moved his, he failed his close the distance roll. It's a little bit weird that once you get into combat. What's that? Is it for the, like, moving closer to get in range of firing? Or is it to actually move the ship? Or does the ship keep moving? extra movement it's if weird. you had close the distance, right? Yeah, okay. so here's the problem. The problem is that we're, the Spelljammer combat rules are so abstract that they don't actually have covering ground as part of it. It's just are you able to get closer or not? And if you fail to get closer, it means that you kind of didn't move the way you wanted to. So I guess we could say he's getting closer to picking all of you up, but not closer to the enemy ship? Kind of doesn't make sense. We can flavor it that he w- he had to move to avoid the shot. So he okay. didn't get closer because okay. of that reason. I was just trying okay. to figure out how the land stayed still. Yeah, that's the problem with the rules being abstract and not using a combat map for the ship. But I don't want to use a combat map for the ship. No, it's, it's weird. Okay, so that is the beginning of Spelljammer combat. We need to roll initiative. Uh, 32, and we'll... Oh we'll, my gosh. We'll go second, even Gracious. though it'll be clear what we're doing. Okay, so they're going to try to hold steady again. Because their ship is, you can tell, their ship is big and unmaneuverable, and it is simply not able to do much. It simply doesn't have many options. So it's going to hold steady. We we successfully closed the gap, too. All right, great. So they, they managed to hold steady. That means you have advantage on attacks on them. They have advantage on attacks on you as well. All right, and you close the distance to short range. It's confusing. So does that mean that now we're within range of everybody? That's right. Of, yep. So we're near you, Terra and You're near the fight now. Okay. If you wanted to jump off the ship, this would be the time to do it. But it is the crew phase. And if there's anything you want to do as bosun, then now's the time to do it. Otherwise, you could jump off the ship and join the fight. What can I do as bosun? Uh, the brace for impact. Uh, what else can I do? Let's see. So options for the bosun are to await helmsperson's orders. And that would give the helmsperson advantage on their next initiative roll. You could brace for impact to reduce damage. Mm-hmm. 
You could coordinate repairs to try to fix the ship more quickly. Mm -hmm. You could coordinate the riggers to give Zartok advantage on his next maneuver check. You could try to do a sharp turn to make the ship more maneuverable. Those are your options. Mm. No, I think I think I am going to jump. But okay. um, can I at least say to Papa Gaston, take over? Sure. Uh, Boson responsibility. So Aster jumps off the ship. I'm trying to move him to where he appears on the map over here. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what's happening? On the map? Yeah. Uh, so your ship is coming from the east. Gotcha. So Z Aster jumps off the ship on Sylphonia. I'm not going to put Sylphonia's token on there because it'll make the map a little bit harder to read. I guess I'll put her on there in case we need her. What do you want to do this round? Uh, actually, I need you to roll initiative now that you're in the combat. Uh, Coral is planning to stay on the ship, but uh, do stuff to the combat on the ground. So I may need to be in initiative as well. So I rolled 13 plus 5. All right, 18. Okay, I'm saying you said Coral staying on the ship. That's but doing stuff that will affect the battle on the ground. Okay, that's fine. I will try to put you over by Aster if it'll let me. Well, I say that, but I, I mean, for ease of existing, I'm just going to say Coral gets off the ship. Just for ease. Oh, okay. How are you getting off the ship? The yep. ship's flying. Oh, I guess Aster flew down. Then yeah, I just stay on, on the ship. Pegasus. Yeah, he's on Okay. All right. Uh, if, is, are we talking about Coral now? Yeah. So, Tara, go ahead and take your actions this round. Okay. For ease of keeping track of everyone, do you want to just add Mama Sass, Coral, and I guess Gaston into the combat so we can just go in order, even though they're doing spell jammer things? I can do that if you want. I mean, it's yeah. up to you. I just thought that might make it easier to keep in track, but whatever. I think if they're all doing spell jammer things, then I'd rather just say, hey, crew phase, tell me what you're doing uh, and not worry okay. about it. Coral's not going to do spell jammer things, though. Oh, she's not. Okay, she's well, not. then I need, to have her, I need to have her in the initiative then, okay. so hold on. Uh, is your initiative plus one. bonus plus one? Yeah. All right, so it's got the right number. It rolled an 11 for you. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, All that's right. fine. So are we assuming that where, where Coral is on the map is where the, sp the Spelljammer currently is? Stationed? Uh, we're not being specific at all about where the Spelljammer is. I only uh, put that token there so that she can see the map. Gotcha, gotcha. I understand. The same with Zartok. I understand. And Tara, what do you want to do? Okay, Um, I would like to attack the captain. Yeah. Uh, this one is a 22 to hit, and I also want to make it a trip attack. Okay. So he makes a strength saving throw, and I don't think he has a disadvantage of that, because I don't think that's an ability check, but... All right, and he rolled a strength saving throw. Yeah, so he rolled a 25, and you notice that he it seems extremely steady on his feet. Okay. That, in fact, he seems strangely steady on his feet, almost like he's been on the, the ocean and on a ship his whole life, and it's hard to knock him down. Fair enough. But, sure. Uh, so, that doesn't work. But the damage goes through. Yes. Okay. Um, it is 12 plus 8, 20. 20 damage. Oof. Wow. Okay. That's well, again, good. only half that goes through, but that's a lot. Uh, so, you're definitely hurting him. How long does the fear last? Uh, until the end of this turn. Okay. Uh, for me, my turn. Yeah, after you. Okay. All right, so uh, next, next attack Next attack is 26. That's a hit. Just 10 damage. Okay. Next attack is a 24. That's a hit. And that one's 12 damage. Wow. And uh, uh, to be clear, Aster, Tara looks pretty bad. <laughs> Does she look bad? <laughs> to be clear. Okay. She's pretty injured. Tara is badly injured, but she is carving this guy up. He is only still standing because he seems supernaturally resistant to this damage. And he is furiously swinging at her, but he also seems frightened of her, although that now that effect now goes away. Yes. All right, Braille. Braille is going to... I guess she'll make an attack, but she misses. So is my turn... I don't have a turn here. It's just me jumping up. That's well, you're of... jumping off and flying forward. I assume you're flying toward the combat. Yes. Uh, you, I mean, you can take an action. Oh, I can? You're, you're using Sylphonia's movement, so if you want to take an action, there's a measurement tool. You want to, What are you trying to measure to? Oh, nine, she can fly 90. That would put you... That would basically put you right in the combat. Okay. Is that where you want to be? Yeah, I'll get right in front of him. Because I'll have Sylphonia do something to the guy, which won't be much. 
um, but I can do something to the wizard. So if it looks like the wizard is two squares away from me. Is that correct, Mike? That's correct. It is yeah. correct? Yeah, he should be two squares away from Aster. Okay. So on my turn, I will look at the, the big guy. Yep, the captain. And I will... Pirate captain. I will say, Don't you touch my captain! Now grovel before my captain! And grovel will be the command phrase I use for casting command. Okay. To have him grovel in front of her. <laughs> I rolled a 19 for a saving throw. Darn it. He saved. But then I'll have Sophonia attempt to hit him. Okay. Hooves. She has, it's a 15 plus, I don't know what her, oh, it's a, it's an 11, 15 plus 11 to hit. 15 plus 11? Yeah. Pegasus has a plus 11 to hit. No, wait, hold on. One, no, 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 plus six to hit, plus six. Oh, so, God. So 21, so. Okay, yeah. yeah I mean, that that is a hit. I'm sorry, that 11 is the average damage, but I'm going to roll. So she does 12 damage to him. They're hooves. Okay. But they're non I don't know if they're magical. She's magical, but I think the hooves are just hooves. <laughs> they're magical hooves. She's magical. Doesn't all seem to go through. He seems somewhat resistant. It's my turn. The captain goes. He no longer has disadvantage on attacks. Oh, that's a 22. No, 23 to hit. That'll hit. And that's 16 points of damage. Ow. Next attack, a 20 to hit. Nope, 21 to hit. 21 does hit. And that is 13 points of damage. Ouch. So he's just viciously beating down on Terra, saying, Frighten me, will you? Take this. That's a 27 to hit. (laughs) That's going to hit. 11 points of damage. No, 10 points of damage. Okay. Terra looks... Um, you know, just just seconds from being knocked down. I wish I had polymorph right now. And that is the wizard's turn. The wizard sees that Terra is vulnerable. But, but there's, and there's a horse. he is going to see if he can take her down. He was going to do something else, but now he's going to see if he can take her down. Yeah, why not? We'll do a good old Acid arrow. Uh, oh, no, I don't think that hits. It's just a 20. That's a miss. Yes. And he's also going to move. Okay, and they're dead. Coral, you're doing something not Spelljammer related. What do you want to do? Am I within 60 feet of, of Terra? Um, n- no, but you could get within 60 feet, I think. Hold on, let's see here. I mean, I'm not technically there. I'm on the ship. Okay, you're on the ship, then you're not within 60 feet, no. Darn it. Does Coral want, um, what should we call it, Featherfall? I mean, I wouldn't say no, but I don't have a way to communicate that with you, so. Well, Gas- Gaston's on the ship, so that's, so Gaston, in ter- in, for his bosun turn, would cast Featherfall instead of do, bo- doing bosun stuff. You could do that. You could just say, as my reaction, when she jumps off the ship, I'll use Featherfall on her. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna jump off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say you're going to wait until the ship is a little bit closer to jump off, so I'm going to move you a little closer. Uh, I'm going to move you 30 feet closer here. I'm going to put you there, 55 feet away from Terra. So on my turn, am I I, I, I am there. Like, I jumped, yes. I am there. Yes? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, bonus action, healing word at second level. Okay. It's not going to be much. What's well, actually not bad. Uh, 12 points to Terra. Nice. And then I still have an action. That is seven times what she was at. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, um, what are you at? Oh, my goodness. Don't worry. I did a screenshot of it. I am not within range <laughs> to do any of my cantrips. So I'm just going to... That's the end of my turn. You still have your move. You can move 30 feet. I'll use my action to move forward 30 feet. That's perfect. You don't even have to use your action for that. Oh, I do just have my movement, don't I? Yeah, your move. You can move 30 feet. And that puts me... Okay. Uh, so I'm within 30 feet of the guy, of the captain. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to pull out a thorn whip, ah. create a thorn whip in my hand, and attack it. Oldie but a goodie. Will it pull him towards you? Yes. Oh, my God. Nope. Nope, that's not going to hit, because that's a natural one. Uh-oh. Roll to confirm. Confirm through your fumble. That's an eight. 
That is a confirmed fumble. Do I add fumble. stuff to the? You add your normal stuff to the eight, to the eight. Yeah, add uh, your normal so attack bonus. So that's a bonuses. sixteen. That that would be a hit then. So okay. it's not so a fumble. So it's not a fumble. It's just a miss. Okay. Okay. So I flick a thorn whip at him, and it just kind of hits the ground beside him. Is anyone in the ship doing anything on the crew turn? Gaston was hanging over the edge to cast Featherfall on Coral, so that was yeah. You still have an action. He can still do stuff. He'll he'll use the that um I can't I can't find the exact term for it. The watch out one where he can um, brace for impact. I want to do the defensive one. I'm looking for oh, that one. Look out! There you go. Look out! Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. So that means you I'll make a perception that. check. He's much better at that. Um, fifteen. I think that's the DC. Yep. Okay, ship's AC increases by five. Against the next attack, that's right. Yep. Okay, and now we're on to the gunnery phase. Yep, Mama Sass is going to shoot and has advantage. A 21 to hit. That is a hit. Uh, 25 damage. Oof, okay. I need to keep track of this somewhere. I forgot about that. Me too. I have so many windows open. There's a lot happening so right now. So many windows open. Look what you've done. How much damage? 25. Wow. Okay, yeah. Uh, so you inflict a significant hit against this big ship that's floating here. They shoot at you with two of their weapons. First, the heavy trebuchet. That would only be a 17 to hit. Misses. So that misses. The heavy ballista misses. And then the light ballista takes a shot at Terra. Ugh. <sighs> That is a 21. They're a much bigger ship than we are. <sighs> that unfortunately hit. Yes. I think Terra's about to go down. Maybe the roll will be low. I don't think it can be that low. 17 points of damage to Terra. Terra is down. No! Terra has been courageously fighting, but a ballista bolt slams into her and pins her against the cobblestones. And we'll stop there. No! <laughs> It's doing the same thing to me, and I'm in no man's land. It's so weird. Oh, really? Yeah. What the you, you, you may have to refresh your yeah, 55 I'll feet. I'll do it in a Tara. second. No, um, don't jump now, Coral. That is no man's land. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a great place to stop. Why, though? Makes sense. It makes, you makes do sense. It. You gotta do it. Yeah, because you've been fighting like a, like, like a hero of legend. You made it through like six rounds by yourself. Yeah, yeah. Well. She took out a whole bunch of pirates with Braille. She has, yeah, with Braille's help, and she has taken this captain, who has resistance to all damage, down wow. to less than half his hit points. All wow. damage. So he would be dead if he didn't have the resistance. He'd be That's down. Right. That's right. He has yeah, a pretty man. nice, uh, pretty nice potion there. I know. I, I, if we can kill him, maybe he has more. <laughs> Could you imagine yeah. yourself, Tara, with <laughs> resistance to all damage? You'd be a tank. I'd still be yep. up. <laughs> now this is a this is a very impressive fight. You're putting up an excellent fight against overwhelming forces. Mm -hmm. I mean, thankfully, I can use I, I I mean, there's not much I can use my spells for anyway. So I don't have any. I don't have any big ones, and I'm saving the third level one I do have. Yeah, I have two third levels, so I'll use one to heal her up. I don't know if that will keep her alive when this guy swings. Problem is, that doesn't... It's it's D8s. If you're doing Cure Wounds, it's D4s. If you're doing Healing Word, it's 
It's not a lot. It's not a- either way. Yeah, but it, uh, it's something. It is something. It's just not against those kind of swings. It's not a lot. Yeah. Uh, but you just need to get her up because he's got three attacks and he can basically yes, kill so, her in one turn. So maybe I can get her up with yeah. like a second level spell, which still gives her okay health. She can remaneuver herself. Um, and then maybe I can try to shift this focus, but I don't feel like this guy's going to shift this focus from there. Maybe I can get between him and her. And so he has to go through me. So, well, he can go around me, but he'll take attacks of opportunity. Other than that, he would have to disengage and then therefore he wouldn't be able to attack her. I don't think he's going to care much about attacks of opportunity. Oh boy, three spell slots. Okay, we ended on King Dapper's turn, right? Wait, no, that was Ballista. Yes, yeah, Ballista. It was the gunnery phase. Yeah. Gunnery phase. I assume phase. it's going to be your turn, Tara, and you'd be making like a death saving throw, I assume. And you'll roll a natural 20 and be up with one hit point. That would be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't put all that pressure on my dice. There. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be such a hallmark moment because it'd be the start of the of the of the first round in the next session. If it's a natural twenty, she would be standing up. She would literally be like one of those characters in fantasy movies and stuff, like making her last stand. I would call this like her bad luck place, right? Because the last time <laughs> she yeah. we she yes. brought here, it was up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good point. I forgot about that. And that time right. I had the ability to turn you into an ape. But uh, I don't have that ability. Not right now. I know that our day. Girl, Coral can do the same. I can, but not right now. Yeah, that's unfortunate. 